In this video, we're going to get to the fun stuff, which is the, the map editing, the level editing. Um, originally, I said I was going to use, uh, what did I say, Blender, I think. And then I talked about using uh, Godot's CSG nodes, and they were a little bit quicker to work with than, than Blender. Um, until they got not so quick to work with when you started getting into more complex shapes. Um, so after some trialing and testing, I've decided that I am actually going to use Trench Broom and I've spent a little bit of time learning it. It's pretty quick once you get the shortcut keys down, um, but it is a, a different interface that kind of makes me just ask, why? Why did they do it this way? And I guess it's a throwback to um, some editors of the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, and even some of the kind of Hammer editor, if you've ever used that. Um, it's just got some interesting things that it does that could have been done better. But it does work, and it works pretty well. Now, what you're going to need to do here is, I've already, just, I'm just playing around with this. I'll just delete this stuff. And you're going to need to go to the project folder uh, up the top here. Uh, sorry, not there. The asset library and type in Quoto. It's spelled Q-O-D-O-T. You're gonna double click on this and it will bring up a little window. Should bring up a little window. Um, when that window turns up, I'm not sure why it's not showing up for me. Is it down the bottom? No. Oh, it's frozen on me, great. <laughs> uh, there it is. You're gonna click download and then once it's downloaded, you'll click install. After the install happens, it's going to take um, up to five or 10 minutes even to, to import uh, the, the, the sprites. There's a, there's a bug with it or there's something corrupted with it. I'm not sure, but it just takes a long time. It took about five to 10 minutes on, on my computer, um, but don't think that it's frozen. It will eventually get there. And it'll kind of stop right at the start. You go, oh no, it's gonna take forever. And then it just zooms through after that. So just walk away, go and get a drink or something while that's happening. Um, I already installed it because I was aware of that happening and I didn't want to sit here. And I also don't edit these videos, so I didn't want to have to cut that bit out. Um, I have installed this. And so uh, Quoto is installed on mine. Um, once it's installed here, you should get a folder called add-ons and there's Quoto in there. And what I'm gonna do is go project, project settings, plugins, and then enable Quoto. And I'm gonna enable that. And I need to set it up for Trench Broom. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go back to the root directory here and make a folder called Maps. So I've already done this. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a folder inside Maps called Textures. And then inside that, I'm going to, and I've already done this again, uh, I'm going to put in some texture files or some folders that have textures in them. So I got those from the Realm 667 website. Um, and I didn't just put the extracted folder in. I went into it, found the folder that had that in, and then copied that folder into the maps folder, sorry, into the textures folder in Quoto. And then I renamed it so I knew what it was that I was actually looking at because flats didn't make sense, but at least I know cage flats. Okay, those are the textures from the cage pack that I downloaded. And so we've got this here and we're pretty much almost ready to go, but we need to set up the game definitions. And so underneath game definitions, we've got trench broom and we wanna set up a config folder. So we can double click that. And over here on the right hand side, it lets us set up um, trench broom. Now I'm just gonna go back to my downloads directory. And this is my trench broom folder here. Uh, I'm just gonna rename this just to trench broom. This is where I'm going to install it. I don't need to install it on the hard drive anywhere. It's just going to be in downloads. Uh, and I think if you're working at school, it will work from downloads because um, you don't have access to C drive anyway. And you really only have access to your home drive. So you can probably put it on there, which is H drive, or you can just put it into downloads. So then going back to Quoto here, uh, sorry, Goto, uh, over here on the right hand side, the Trench Broom Games folder, this is where I need to point to trench broom. So I'm gonna to have to, I'll actually just do it this way. Okay, that doesn't help. Um, I know where it's gonna be. It's gonna be in my users folder. So to find that folder, it's gonna be down here. It's gonna be C 
Oh my goodness. It's all this crash handler stuff. Haven't really looked at that. Um, C, and then it's gonna be users, which looks like it's probably a hidden directory. Now for you, it'll be different. It'll be H drive and it should just be there. Uh, so I will C drive forward slash users forward slash my name forward slash downloads. There we go. Trench broom. Um, that's the folder. Okay, so that's the folder there. The game name, Quato, the icon, uh, that's all good. Don't need anything else. And then I click this little checkbox here that says export. Um, it looks like it hasn't, it does look like a checkbox here, but it's not, it's a button. Um, and you'll see down the bottom here, if you click the output, that it says here um, that it's done an export complete. Okay, now when I open Trench Broom, and I go new map, I should get an option there for Quarto, but I'm not. I wonder why that is. Why have I got an error? Game name Quarto, I'll just export it again. That is the folder. New map. Just try that again. New map. That's that's not there. All right, let's have a look and see. I've done this. That is right. And see, so it's even got a quarto folder there with a game config in it. Um, trench room games folder. Oh, I, okay. Sorry, it's meant to be there. That's all right. It's meant to be there. So. That should be Trench Broom Games, and then I'll click the export, and then when I run it, go new map, uh, I probably have to restart Trench Broom, new map, and there it is, cool. So I click okay, and all I'm gonna do here is just drag, I click and drag a couple of times, like that, all good, file, save, document, and I'm going to save this into my maps folder that I made earlier. So that should be in, uh, where did I put my game? C drive? No, probably D drive. Um, got a, this one and maps. And I'll just call it test level dot map and click save. All right. Now I've got to remember how to do this part. So this is here now. Um, it looks like there's an error in there in that folder. I'm just going to fix that. I must have opened file manager, cage flats. There's, there's like a WAD file or something that's happened. That's sprites textures. Just delete this. So it stops giving me that error down there. Okay, there we go. Uh, I must have had that there twice. I'm not sure why I had that two times. Um, don't need that, ignore that. You need this one here. And I've got my test level map here. Now I'm gonna go 3D scene and add in a quarto map node. And then over here on the right hand side, the map file, I'm just gonna drag that into there. Actually, I don't think I can. I think I've got to click this and select maps. And then I should be able to click quick build and it should build that map. So that is the process. If you get up to that, then you're ready to go. The next video will actually cover mapping and um, mapping and texturing. And um, you can apply a nav mesh to this, no problem. It will, it will work, this will look horrible. I mean, this is just a, a bunch of blocks there, but you can see that it brings it across. Um, I think roughly one unit in Trench Broom is one unit in Godot. Well, actually, it is one unit in Godot. So one unit in Trench Broom, one unit in Godot, and you can kind of get your scale for that. But it doesn't matter too much because you can scale uh, this object up and down as well. Oops. So you can scale that up and down. And um, that's it.